What's up guys, this is Mitchell. I'm back. I'm going to do a tutorial really quickly over shortcuts and logic. I'm not going to make this 15 minutes because honestly, it could take probably five. So let's see, let's get started here. I'm on a MacBook Pro. So what I can do is select this middle frame. And if you put two fingers and move them closer together, you jump out uh, horizontally and then outwards you go in horizontally um, and then if you want to do it vertically you can press option and shift and then going up goes in and down goes out if that makes any sense at all um, that's just useful for navigating around if you want to zoom in on something or whatever um, and then let's see what we can do is you can press escape in this in the main window and we have a ton of tools that we can use. Um, once you just get more familiar with logic, you can just press quickly Escape 5, and that gets your cutting tool. As you can see, um, I use I don't use too many of these, just pointer, pencil, every once in a while. Um, scissors. Uh, I don't use glue, solo, or mute. I mean, that's whatever, stupid. Um, marquee tool, if... Uh, if you want to open up automation, which is shortcut is A on the keyboard. Um, let's say we want to select this part of the guitar track. I can grab it, or I can go to marquee tool and select it. Just highlight it. Then escape one gets you back to the pointer. And once you click on it, you can drag this up and down. Instead of doing your dots and then dragging up and down, which is useful sometimes, but sometimes you just want uh, I don't know, a quick sharp up and volume and down. Um, either way, whatever works. And then you can press Escape Automation Select Tool and grab all these dots and delete them. And then I'll just make this black again. Um, those are very helpful. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, guys, I need to check. I need to, this is amazing. Don't. This is a secret, so don't be going and telling everybody here. So, all right, I'm going to go into this guitar track, and I'm going to, what it does is it fades out volume-wise, the guitar track, so I'll just play it for you. Oh, wait, sorry, I'm going to... Yep, it just decreases the volume of the track as it gets to the end, um, and then what you can do is when you have your uh, fade tool on you can oh, come on, fade tool you can increase or decrease the loop so it um, starts off decreasing slower and then as it right gets to the end it just cuts off uh, more quickly um, very useful I use it all the time what you can do is you can come up here to this top left corner and this is the secret part okay you can come up here to fade and instead of fade select slow down and I'll just let you listen to it. I, I, it's really hard to explain. Uh, it's just like a vinyl, just manually slowing down the track, I guess, is a way to put it. Um, I'll just undo that, Command Z, um, unsolo that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. What I can do is, uh, if I select something, say um, it's robotic chatter, um, if I press escape in here, there's going to be a couple different tools in here that's not in the main view, like the quantize, um, the velocity tool. Those aren't in this main view up here. Um, so what you can, what this means is you can have two different like tools for each view. You can have your scissors up here, and down in this view you can have your finger tool. So finger, and then you have your cutting up here. It's separate in both of these. Um, same with the sample editor. Whatever. It's pretty easy to understand. Um, then, let's see. I'll go back to my pointer. Uh, if Usually when I'm in my room, I just record by myself. I just hit record and lay down a track. So the easiest way for me to do that is to select a track whatever one I want to record on and press R and I have it set up so if you are selected in this measure I guess and you hit R it will jump back to the previous measure 
and give you like a lead in to wherever the line was that you had that you just hit the R button at if that makes sense so it'll go it'll jump back and count in and then once it hits here it will start recording for real it will start laying down the track and and reading in all reading in the wave um, that you're giving it so yep what else I think that's it honestly it's really easy so if you have any questions if I miss something uh, comment whatever alright guys have a good day peace